Hey everyone, welcome to our channel and welcome to the first devlog for Dash and Swing. In this episode, I will be talking with you guys about the game development process from its early stages until where it is right now. So I'll be showing some different versions of the game, talking about the gameplay mechanics, the music, the art style and much more. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So guys, first of all, let me give you an overview of what Dash and Swing is all about. In this game you control a ball that moves and dashes using grappling hooks to swing through various platforms and you need to avoid obstacle enemies, spikes and etc. So, the main objective of the game is to progress to the various levels by reaching the end goal while you're, you are collecting points and avoiding hazards. We hope to get like intuitive controls so the player will need to time all of their moves and master the grappling hook mechanics to be able to traverse through the various challenges that we have and we need to the game to be playable where you are like a casual gamer or a platforming enthusiast so we will have a lot of different options to how you play the game all the levels will be based on momentum speed mechanics and things like that so you don't really need to traverse all the levels in the exact way that we thought that you would traverse so the gameplay mechanics permit you to gain more momentum gain more speed and make your own ways through the levels the game mainly aims to offer a fun and exciting experience for all ages and all skill levels, but it will be also be a little bit challenging for the harder levels because we, we want to the player to feel satisfied when he is playing the game. Now, let's talk about how the game evolved over time. To be real, this game started as just a project for me where I implemented some things that I think that there are cool functionalities on games like I love games with dashes and grappling hooks, swings, things like gravity modifiers and teleports so I started this project like two years ago where I just used it to implement these mechanics and use it on other games but after some time passing around I started to like make some tweaks and see how these mechanics like mix it together and I keep working on on it and the game started started to take shape as a, a momentum based platformer uh, let me show some videos of how it all started to so you guys can see how it all changed until right now. At the beginning we had the dash and the swing mechanics. It were, it were the first two things for me to add in the game because I was working on a game jam back then and I wanted to make a mix so the player could use the dash and swing abilities. So I created this project, added there and after some time I added some basic platforms that the players could hook into it and other different platforms where the players could not hook into it. But as we progressed we added more types of platforms such as hook points and spikes and bouncing platforms, lava platforms, moving objects that deal damage to the player and we also add things like enemies, enemy turrets that aims to you and shoot bullets to kill the player or turrets that, that are like static that do not uh, aim for you we also added a gravity modifier so it's a item kind of a power up that you get in, into the levels that makes all the all of the gravity invert so the player need to play basically backwards play uh, upside down to be in reality uh, need to adapt with the level design to be all upside down uh, also added portals like you go to a portal in some space of the, the level and get out on the other uh, we also want to add some different gameplay ele elements that there are not implemented like speed modifiers rotating platforms and well anything that you guys can give us ideas also it will be very great we want to make like a lot of variation for the level design, level design of the game. However, as the game started to take shape, I was really feeling kind of lost on it because, okay, the gameplay was cool, but the game itself didn't have anything to differentiate it from other players. Like, it was a cool experiment, but it didn't have like a 
a character. It didn't have like uh, something that I would say that, oh, this defines this game, you know. I think that the gameplay mechanics are, are cool, but it needed something something more. So that was when I tried to develop some codes to have um, have background items that that interact with the music that is playing on the game. Because basically I've been playing a lot of Hi-Fi Rush uh, lately and I loved the game. I wanted to do something similar. So back to the origins of this project, I tried to implement something that I found cool in another game. And I, I kind of liked it. I made a, like, firstly a simple script that changed the color of the some of the background, reacting to a music that was playing, and based on that, we started to develop it more in this idea. So the game project like changed to be focused on things like this. So from this point on, the game gained an objective. Uh, it will be a uh, momentum based to the platformer game for people to play like casually while listening the soundtrack to the game. And we also added the option to create a personalized playlist and put in, in the game. So you can have the music, the songs in your in your PC, add it into the game, and you can like listen them while you are playing the game, and all of the background elements of the levels will react with the music that you are playing at the moment. I've added also a radio system, so the game has a bunch of radios right now with different songs and the personalized playlist for the player. With this, we are aiming to create a distraction for like the problems that people face in their day-to-day -day lives, while also offering a challenging experience to be engaged on. The idea of the game is for you to sit down, relax and play, but not to be like a hyper casual game that you just like don't need to have more than two brain cells to play, but like offer you some challenge, some some difficulty to progress into the levels, but also with the visuals and the art style, the music and the songs playing in the background to relax you, for you to be able to not need to be engaged in this game like 20 hours, uh, 3 or 4 hours a day, you can just sit down, play for 20 minutes and go, go back to your life. Just use this as like a, a game to escape from your reality for some time and enjoy your, enjoy your time. But even with the game gaining a new direction, the visual art style was, was still not appealing for me. At this point I tried different visuals to implement in the game, but to be real I'm not an artistic guy. All of my game projects all ends up in the same problem. Make the game looks good, it's always my biggest challenge. I'm just not good at making things visually appealing. However, I kept working on it, I've tried to get some ideas, I asked for feedback from friends and family and anyone that I could reach. I've added some visual aspects inspired by comic books, some booms and boings into the levels, also to give the player some instructions and to give the game some personality. I've also added some mascots images into the game because they look cute and added more details in general to the scenario, mainly to interact with the songs on the background. And right now I'm proud to say that the game is looking better, I think. Well, I really hope that all of you guys also think that the game is looking better, but I want to hear, hear it from you. What do you think of this game art style? Do you think that it was better before I added these things or it's, it's really not good at, at all? I need to change everything and make it, make it all over. Any feedback would be good for me because it's really a hard spot for me to work on. So right now, it's something that I, I think it's looking good. But if you guys disagree with me, please let in the comments. Or if you have any idea of how this can look better, please also let me know. And that's it. So to wrap up, the development of Dash and Swing has been a journey filled with like ups and downs, but it's been a rewarding experience. 
Overall, I'm really happy with the progress that we've made on Dash and Swing since the beginning. It's been a lot of work, but I'm excited to see how the game continues to develop and I'm also excited about the future of this game. With plans to add things like time trials, leaderboards and unlock box cosmetics to keep players motivated to play again and again, I think we will have a consistent product to sell and something that is really fun and, and enjoyable to spend your time in. So that's it for this video guys, thank you for joining me on this game dev vlog. If you like it, you can check the game page on Steam and you can also check our other games on Steam and itch.io, the link is below. Please like and subscribe and I can't wait to share more updates with you on the next episode of the game dev vlog of Dash and Swing.